taking place, fighting for them. And just a while ago, I think he got arrested. I'm not sure he's in that uh, melee, but uh, he has been a thorn in the side of police most of the evening. Um, this is the kind of thing that happened. Police had to move in. Uh, there were not Different police story were tonight. Squad people. They were firing tear gas. As you Windows said, were closed because of tear gas. Again, they were dangerous. People were knocking them open and throwing them around. Now look. Car fire. That was the first car set on fire. I'm now counting six cars set on fire and destroyed and turned upside down. And here we go, the fire, the firefighters finally coming. They just put out a car fire on Seymour, a very serious one that caused a huge plume of smoke. And now they're going to deal with two Vancouver police squads that were parked here that have been set on fire. But it's the one car fire, that one little thing that seemed to spark this whole turn in the crowd from what's been six weeks of a crowd that does nothing but support the team, wear the colors, and have a great time. Every time the Canucks have, lo have lost a game, people have quietly gone home. They haven't destroyed anything. They didn't complain. They said, better luck next time. All that tension tonight, it just seemed to boil over in the streets and... And all the, the liquor that was consumed starting very early today just seemed to have sparked it. And really, exactly what the city of Vancouver did not want to happen. They took steps so it wouldn't Ooh. happen. We did see police all through More the playoffs high-fiving, high-fiving everything. There's they a tear gas tonight. there. It was just nothing to celebrate. Son of a bitch. That leads to a long the 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 situation during this uh, playoff series with Boston. Fan versus fan. They really were. Excuse me, getting along with each other very well. Uh, neither here nor in uh, Boston. This is an example of what happened when one or two Boston fans ventured out into the street and uh, got involved with Canuck fans. This is what happened. Very this is the kind of thing we saw on the streets. Not very good for uh, this city's reputation, as is this. This is Granville Street now. More tear gas being fired in the background and more taunting going on. People coming out of the crowd. One guy on a skateboard uh, was doing weaves in front of the uh, um, police and uh, just saying, come and get me, come and get me. Wow. And uh, they are now moving in, perhaps. Uh, that's the same guy. I'm not sure if they have taken someone down on the street on Granville. Natalie? the part of the city that police were most worried about because after the games police walk with the, you know the crowds usually walk quickly to the bars the heavily the, the part of our city where there are so many bars the for there. and this is the city that usually is closed and pedestrian only during the olympics and the gold medal game there were a hundred thousand people here this is the part of the city police were most worried about Now, we'd like to welcome our viewers on CBC News. Now, we wish you, we could show you a celebration uh, in Vancouver, a celebration for either the Bruins or the Canucks. Well, it's stand off down here. They lost the Stanley Cup to the Bruins. And things turned bad here in Vancouver. On Georgia Street tonight, it all began with the uh, turnover of a car and you the sense of oh, lighting shit. of that car. Don't stand off with those cops, man. At the moment now, there are two police cars. You see them right there. There's gas the all over the they place. They were turned over in, the uh, a few hours ago or an hour or so ago. And they were set on fire. Not far away. Oh, ah, shit. The police are using, you see it there, police have been using tear gas to keep this crowd under control. It seems oh, to be it's getting bad. It is a problem nonetheless, and these scenes are being repeated back in the city, so we're sad to say, but uh, that's what has happened. There have been a few uh, injuries that will be heard of, there have been cars set on fire, and uh, police have moved in. It may be a long night, because these people are not going away easily. I'm joined by Natalie Clancy, she's been watching this with me all night, and doing such a great job of uh, gathering information, Ella. Well, Tony, let me just to, to paint a picture. What we've got is a front line. The officers who are dressed in dark, they're the riot squad, heavily geared. They're carrying gas and fire and uh, smoke bombs to fire at the crowd behind them. They're backed up by a thin line of Vancouver police officers. All night, we have seen what appears to be outnumbered Vancouver police. So the RCMP are on the way are backing up the Vancouver police, and, and outlying police agencies have offered to come in and help. Well, she wouldn't line, come in my window. <laughs> Now that's an empty street. That street is kind of empty now. 
Oh, well, Gordy. What do you figure? <laughs> hey, Chrissy Boo. Damn cops, caused all this trouble. All right, thank you so much, Emily. No, really. Emily makes the same kind of observation that we've been making all night. There are certain elements of this crowd that are there simply to watch. To, they want to see what's going on. They want to see what's developing, and uh, they want to see fires and flames. And that's they what they're seeing. The or the or restaurant. people have been very stubborn about moving on. There have been fights between them and the police. And there have been confrontations. And riot police have brought in dogs, and uh, they've had their batons flying, and it's been a very sorry scene indeed. There again, uh, another car fire. Those are the police cars, I believe, that were set on fire earlier tonight by those uh, rioting people. They turned the cars over first, and then they set them on fire, Natalie. People just joining us, we should recap a little bit. Earlier tonight, we had a report of a, a person falling off the Georgia, uh, the Dunsmere Viaduct. We have seen people get injured. I witnessed a police okay. carrying a woman who appeared badly injured.